uh, right, I'm going to do a, a quick video on uh, my new ground station. Um, you can see it here. If I just have a look, we've got the uh, two monitors in the lid. We've got big nose 13 antennas. As you can see, I'm running two 2.4 um, receivers and two 5.8s. These can all be run at the same time. Um, if you look down to the bottom, you can see the main brains, you could call it as such. Uh, running through, we've got two video inputs there. Uh, that's receiver uh, selector for AV1, which is the first monitor. We've got AV2 selector, AV1 for the second monitor, and AV2 for the second monitor. We've got a USB charge point, um, just for doing your mobile phones and my e-cigarette. <laughs> uh, four receivers are built in. <clears throat> Each of the receivers wouldn't actually fit underneath, so that's not actually the receiver. The receivers are underneath, stripped down. Um, I've stripped them out, I've replaced the bu uh, buttons on them so they're not part of the circuit board. Um, the antenna sockets are now gone because they're up the top there. Um, I've replaced them with corresponding LEDs to match so you know which ones you're turning on and off. Um, I've relocated the uh, beepers for each of these as well. I've got ourselves a voltage indicator, the main power. Uh, two DVRs uh, for recording where you can record any of the two um, inputs shown on there. Or you can watch um, two on the TVs and record um, the other two receivers or you could record a uh, video from the video input instead if somebody's got a ground station but they don't have a decent recorder they can plug into mine records away quite merrily I've got uh, video outputs and um, that's so um, again if somebody's only got um, goggles uh, they've only got a socket to hook, hook into the goggles but they want to uh, they want to broadcast at one of the meets live to the internet. They can plug the receiver into there. I can then um, display it on the monitors if I want to, record it on here, output it to the internet, and they can still plug the goggles in at the same time so it just goes in between the chain. Um, so they can fly off the goggles using those, input through those, record on those, and output to the internet via that. That's a USB video splitter which will go to a USB lead which will go to uh, the laptop. Um, for display purposes I'm going to use really really cheap and nasty and not really in focus little camera that I got free with uh, one of the 2.4 receivers. These are crap. Even with the main light on with Eddie, Cell Eddie um, it's still going to show black and white. Absolutely rubbish. Uh, one of my 5.8s um, is going to be off my hexacopter. The other 5.8 feed is going to be off my Skyfun through the Morbius. And I have another camera in a vain attempt here. Looking into the sunlight to try and get a colour picture to show up. Um, whether it does or not is another thing. So, we will turn the ground station on. As you can see, everything lights up. Uh, each one of these... Sorry, I, didn't, I wasn't paying any attention to the camera there. Uh, each receiver can be turned on independently, so you don't have to run the battery down any further than it has to. Um, as you can see, I've got... Uh, channel 1 selected on this one, channel 3 on that one, that's for the 2.4, that's for the two separate cameras there. Um, to select those cameras, I just use the selector switch, and that's one. There's Eddie's head, as you can see, black and white because of those stupid naffy cameras, but there's Eddie. That's on 2.4, channel 1. That is the GoPro output from the hexcopter here. So I can waggle that around and show me filming. There's me filming. So that's 5.8, that one. Uh, the next one is 2.4. Um, that's out the window. Hang on, if I select it, there you go. 
2.4 out the window looking at the cars and then the sky fund through the Mobius with the Telefy OSD. Of course you can select different ones for different monitors. So there you go, Eddie, Hexcopter. What this enables me to do is um I'll put it on a nicer picture. If I want to fly with Keith, Darren or whoever at the meet um, and we're trying to follow each other around I can um, watch in one screen where I am and then I can look at, instantly at the other monitor and see where he is and then see where to go to, uh, to fly alongside him. We can record both at the same time. We can both be on 5.8 at the same time. We can both be on 2.4 and it will display each of them. Uh, the DVRs from first person view let me turn them on, first person view pocket DVRs, brilliant DVRs as you can see on here I've got what have I got selected here and uh, they're both on the Mobius so again you can select and I'll do it with the top one so my fing fat fingers aren't in the way um, you can select the different video feeds um, these two are um, the AV in which has got nothing um, attached to it then you've got two uh, that are AV2's but I haven't got AV2 selected to anything so there you go I've got a what have I got there I've got the Mobius on both of them there so let's put there there's the Hex and the Mobius sorry the GoPro and the Mobius so you can record it both at the same time you can also um, switch the uh, output if I go back that one we can select video out PAL connect to TV yes and then I can select I don't know let's do this one go to AV2 I'm blocking the signal and, oh, and I'll do that one again so there, the display has now gone off the DVR. Oh, focus. Go on to AV2 and there's the DVR output there. So, right, so that's that all working. That's all four systems on at the same time, getting received at the same time. I can now connect the USB up to my laptop there. And then for broadcasting, I'm going to. Oh, I should really watch where I'm pointing the camera. I can turn on the DVR system on the laptop, and there you go. There's the uh, the Mobius with the with the Sky on there, the GoPro there with the Hexcopter. Uh, right now it's got DVR that one of the DVRs selected, so I can play a previous flight um, that's been recorded. I can play intros and uh, select whichever one I want or select all four of them if I want to and then send that up uh, to the internet via Justin TV which one am I on? Is that the Mobius there? So the you can see there's a little bit of lag but bear in mind that's going through a Mobius through the air to a receiver through a DVR um, no, sorry, not through a DVR, through the ground station, through a USB, through a converter, and then onto the laptop. So, really, let's have a look at the lag there. The lag's not too bad, considering. So, there you go, that's my ground station. That's how it all works. I'll turn the, uh, I'll put the uh, DVR back to its main screen. LCD, yes, please. And there it is back. So there it is. It uh all the antennas neatly come off once you power down. They're all on there. Uh, I put them on RP SMAs because I just couldn't get hold of any SMAs at the time. And I thought, well, because it's my ground station, it's not gonna be interchangeable. I don't want these antennas to be interchangeable with anything else really they're, they're just going to be for the ground station I'm going to plug that turn the DVR off DVR off close it up 
and I've got the little caps on top. There you go. Back in the car. Lovely jubbly. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra.